Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a new experience for authors to design responsive canvas layout. Responsive layout is defined as an experience where the layout, which is the canvas and its content, automatically adjusts to fit the screen size of the device being used to view the workbook. So let's take this workbook as an example. I've got two canvases. One is called no breakpoints, the other with breakpoints. So on the no breakpoint canvas, I'm going to demonstrate the current responsive behavior. So let's start by resizing the browser to a smaller size. And as you can see that the smaller the br browser size becomes, the visualization shrink relative to the available screen size of the canvas. Some of the data in the canvas becomes extremely hard to read, like the scatter, the heat map, and some of the meshes, or most of the meshes in the tile is extremely hard to read. Now, on the other hand, I'm going to shift to the other canvas called with breakpoints and demonstrate the responsive layout the author has designed on this canvas. So let's switch to this canvas. And notice that as I shrink the browser size, the rendering and the layout of the visualization changes. So at this screen size, the tiles become a two by two layout. A scatter plot in the heat map is now in a stacked layout. Now let's continue to resize the browser size. And notice that at this screen size, the dashboard filter has now shifted to a more horizontal position. And the smaller the screen size becomes, uh, the visualization becomes more stacked uh, in nature, providing a clear view of the data on every single visualization and helping the consumer users read the data in smaller screen size devices with ease. Now let's go into the edit mode and review the new responsive editor experience that we have added to the product. Now in the authoring mode, let me start by duplicating uh, the canvas called no breakpoints. So let's go ahead and duplicate the canvas. At the bottom of the footer, uh, we have added a new icon that allows the author to enter into the responsive editor experience. So let's go ahead and turn on the toggle and you can see that the toggle now becomes green and on the top, there's a new slider that appears on the screen that helps the author to define the screen size and the layout of the canvas content. And since I duplicated the canvas that already had a breakpoint, the product is already suggesting me to use the available breakpoints for responsive behavior uh, for those specific screen sizes that the author had created for the other canvas. But for the purpose of demonstration, let me go ahead and create new breakpoints. So. I'm going to move the slider. As I move the slider, you can see that the pixel sizes changes, uh, defining the screen size that the author is currently in. So let me go ahead and add a new breakpoint. Right click on the slider and a menu pops up. Let's click on add breakpoint. And you can define a precise breakpoint. So I want to say that I want to add a breakpoint at 750 uh, pixel. And at this pixel size, uh, I want to reorder my tile visualization to become like a two by two layout. Uh, and let's go ahead and make it uniform in nature. And I also want to change my scatter is not readable in this uh, screen size of solution. So let me go ahead and change the scatter size to become um, more uh, stacked in layout with the heat map that's down below it. So let me try to make it a little bit bigger. That way it's easier for the consumer user opening the workbook uh, on this screen size to easily read. Now, let me go ahead and move the slider and add one more breakpoint. So let's just say that I'm adding a breakpoint at screen size uh, 500 pixels. On this screen size, I want to make sure that the filters are easily intractable. So let me change the layout from a horizontal to, uh, from a vertical to a horizontal layout. And uh, let's sort of uh, make sure that the tiles are uniform in nature. I want all of my visualizations to appear in a stacked layout that way. It provides a, a, a mobile endpoint like uh, experience for the user to sort of scroll down and see all of the data. The responsive editor experience is still an authoring mode, meaning that the author can add, remove, modify the textual and formatting nature of the content in the canvas. So let's go ahead and add a new visualization in this uh, screen size of solution. So I want to bring in something related to ship mode and also the discount offer, right? So I'm going to bring it as a new visualization to the bottom of this canvas. And this by default is sort of rendering uh, a bar chart. And let me go ahead and change this to a horizontal bar chart and uh, do a sort by high to low. Now at this breakpoint, the fact that I've added a new visualization does not 
mean that this visualization will appear on other breakpoints. So for example, if I move my slider to the previous breakpoint, you can see that the ship mode and the discount data is not available on the breakpoint. So the author can define for each breakpoint the visualization that needs to be shown or hidden. So when they go into the manage breakpoint editor, you can see that the new visualizations for ship mode is there. So let's go ahead and check and explicitly tell that this visualization should also appear on uh, this particular breakpoint. And as I move the slider to the default screen size, I want to make sure that the new visualization that we added is also available on this particular breakpoint. Now, let me save the workbook. So what we have done with a couple of steps is uh, we duplicated a canvas that had breakpoints and the product recommended the available breakpoints uh, from the canvas and the responsive editor can be invoked from the footer and uh, the breakpoints can be defined for different screen sizes that the author wants to manage. The author has the full power to design a responsive canvas layout for different device screen sizes. Thank you for watching this video.